Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about um, how we can query and transform data inside the data warehouse. So that means basically how to query, like what kind of a features it is available inside the data warehouse in Fabric that helps us to query the information there. So from our previous video, we know that uh, Fabric has something called data warehouses and we can create tables, views, all the things there, right? Uh, please watch my previous videos uh, so that you will get most out of this video. Otherwise, you will get confused, okay? So now, once you create a uh, data warehouse, how to query the information there, right? So there are two ways to query the information. One is you can query using something called visual query editor. So that means a, a query editor will be there that is visually help you to query the information. And another way is using a T-SQL, like normal SQL syntax, the select queries, update queries, all, all that stuff, right? So either you can write your own SQL code there or you can use a visual query editor also. So if you see this below screenshot, right? So this screenshot is basically like here, I am writing a SQL code, right? So this is one way, so it's a SQL query editor where I can write a SQL code and execute my queries there, right? Uh, thereby I can transform, maybe I can apply a group by whatever it is, right? And if you see the second screenshot here, so here I am actually writing a query, but it is visible. So I'm not writing a uh, SQL code there. So it's, it's visually, uh, you are kind of writing a code and the output will come there. So, so instead of writing the query manually using a commands and syntaxes, visually no code fashion, okay? So these are the two ways available inside the data warehouse in Fabric using which you can query the information. Let me quickly show you how they look like. So if you remember, uh, this is my workspace. In this workspace only we used to work from the starting. Now I'm navigating to the sample W that is a sample workspace which I have. And in this workspace, uh, for example, you want to write a query, you can hit this uh, new query editor. This will open a query editor and here, if you see in our previous videos, I have created a table called products here. Let's query the information there. So what I'm going to do, select star from dbo dot products one. Uh, let me hit this run button to see what kind of a rows we have it there. You see, you see that I'm able to query the information here successfully and I can see the results also below, right? So this is the query I have used and these are the results it came at the below. So now if you see here, I have something called category column. So maybe I want to write a query where I want to perform the group by category and see how the data will look like. So what I will be doing, maybe select from dbo dot products one table and I want to perform group by uh, maybe category column, right? So group by category. So let me use C A T E G O R Y category column. So when I do the group by, so I, I can fetch the category column and maybe I can use the aggregate of like count of rows. So, and I want to get that as a count column. Okay, select category and count from the product table where I am performing group by category. So let me hit this run button to execute this query and see the results. Now if you see, see this is the query I have ran where I have the group by category and I, I, you see that I got the categories and the count of that each category, right? I got an output. So basically I am able to query and transform the data using the query editor. This is one way using a code. Now what is another way is if you see here, there is a new query option and when you see there, there is new visual query option, right? So if you take that, you no need to write a SQL code there. Visually you can transform the data and query the data. So let me show you that. So let me select new visual query editor and the moment you select that, it is saying you to build the query, uh, drag uh, your table here. So first take the table and drag it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the explore here. So let me hit this explore and I have this products one table. I'm selecting that and I'm, drag, I'm dragging it onto the canvas. So let me minimize this. Now you see the moment I do that, you can see that products one table came uh, from the source as a table here. Now I can use this plus symbol 
to add further more transformations so in this case let's assume i want to perform group by so i can do that so i can apply a group by transformation there and i can achieve the same result without writing a sql code so i am hitting this plus symbol and the moment i hit a plus symbol i, I see this drop down and here if you see there is a option called group by right so i i selected that plus symbol and, and now i am going to select the group by so now when i select a group by you see i want to group by category and i wanted to get the rows so i am grouping by category column and i am getting the count of rows so this is fine for me so let me hit this ok button which you are seeing it here uh, and once i do that so my group by transformation is applied now if you see the results here below you see that i got my results so i have applied group by here and i got my results correctly there so that means using a visual editor also i am able to get it so basically two ways one is a sql editor where you write a sql code another one is a visual editor where visually you can query the information right so both both are possible okay so that's it in this video it's a small video wanted to demonstrate how we can query the information using a code and using a visual fashion thank you for watching have a nice day